Yo! What's good everybody? It's your boy Goofball Gaming back again with another video. And today we got a very special video, all right? It's my second upload of the day. I'm going to be doing a video on the best players to train to their maximum potential, all right? Now today, all I'm going to be doing is offensive skill positions like wide receiver, tight end, running back, and quarterback. And then on defense, all I'm going to do is cornerbacks. If you guys want more positions, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you check out my uh, video this morning on how to get full stamina, how to stay over your stamina the limit at all times make sure you guys go check out the, that video i uploaded earlier today also guys make sure you guys subscribe if you are new like this video and comment down below what other positions you would like to see but without further ado let's get it started first player we have here is niall davis he is a 70 overall with 86 speed um this card just looks lit man 70 overall if you train him to his max you will get an 80 overall right here he has a 96 speed 82 strength 89 agility 96 excel um 68 carry which isn't that good because he might fumble but 96 speed is if you can catch him you might ca cause him to fumble but you won't catch him all right so that is a very good car right there another cheap beast i have right here is jarek mckinnon 86 speed um 89 agility 87 excel 88 jump uh, this guy is a great running back every single year. It's always these two men who have the high speed and are always the cheap beasts. That is his maxed out card. 96 speed, 98 agility, 96 excel, um, 80 carry, which is which is better than Niall Davis, and 96 jump. But obviously, it will cost up a little bit more just to train him up to his max just because he's a bit higher overall. Well, there is the best uh, running back you could get so far as gold players go for. Um, this is the highest speed you could go for so these are the best gold running backs next up we have the best quarterbacks here we have brett hundley 74 overall with 84 speed his throwing stats aren't that good but his 84 speed will be able to allow him to um actually scramble here is his maxed out card he has 93 speed 87 throw actually short 80 and 80 for uh deep and mid 92 jump 88 throw power 96 excel 91 agility so that is a very good scramble quarterback if you're looking for a cheap option next up we have geno smith here his this is his normal card 84 speed um 85 jump i went with the higher speed players because you know scrambling seems to be pretty op in this game although i know most of you guys probably have scrambled Devin wade by now and this is up um this is his 24 7 card which i recommend do getting because it um it gives bonus training points he is 94 speed man 86 throw accuracy short 85 throw accuracy mid and 80 throw accuracy deep um 93 excel uh 89 throw power as well which is nice and the last player the best one in my opinion is definitely marcus mariota um, he has the best stats out of all of them 87 speed 89 agility 89 excel just as a base card all right you know he has uh, mediocre uh throw accuracy stats but that would be better when we upgrade him to an 89 overall man 96 speed 98 agility 98 excel 88 awareness 90 throw power man 99 jump 86 deep 86 mid 88 short man that is the best option you can so far get out of all the gold quarterbacks man that is definitely but he is worth a ton right now he's worth like 20k so make sure you guys go get him up on the auction house right now um but we're gonna move on to the wide receivers first wide receiver we have here is damier bird he has 89 speed as a 73 overall very easy to train him up to an 83 overall with 99 speed man that is crazy 97 excel 96 agility um 78 catch 96 jump but the catch doesn't really matter if he blows by the um the corner so hey man 99 speed that is just crazy next wide receiver we have jj nelson this card man this card goes for a lot he's 89 speed as a base card bro 86 agility 88 excel um 82 jump 70 catch you know all of these receivers don't really have that good of catch but if you go up to his 24 7 uh maxed out card you get 99 speed again 95 agility 97 excel with 80 catch and 91 jump like i said catch doesn't really matter if your receiver can just blow by their corner last wide receiver we have is uh travis benjamin 86 speed 89 agility 85 excel for his regular card with 68 catch but if you max him out he gets a 78 catch with 96 speed 98 agility and 94 excel all right so this is also a very very good card there's pretty much only one tight end here and that is evan ingram 74 overall he has 85 speed as a base card you max him out to an 84 he gets 94 speed uh 91 agility and 95 excel 88 jump and 80 catch so that is pretty much your best option at tight end so guys now we move on to defense we have ronald darby here with a base card of 87 speed 84 agility 86 excel 
Um, 73 man, 67 zone. You know, not the best. You know, not the best hit power as well. But if you move him up to an 89, he gets an 97 speed. Now, no wide receivers are going to burn past him. Except if you have a 99 speed. But they're pretty much equal there with 83 man, 77 zone. Uh, this is a very good card right here. He's going to cost a lot to upgrade just because he's a 79. But I recommend you guys do do it because an 89 overall card is worth it. Next card, we have Bryce Callahan. He also has 87 speed. I want the high speed on the corners because corners with high speed usually result in good defense. All right. They can catch up with their wide receivers and they can make plays. All right. These are his stats right there. 87 speed, uh, 81 agility, 87 excel. Uh, but and this is his upgraded card, 97 speed, 91 ag ag agility, 96 excel, 81 awareness, 85 man coverage, which isn't that bad. Next card we have here is Trey Wayne's 87 speed, 69 man, 66 zone, you know, uh, 86 excel as well. That is a very good card for speed. If you upgrade him to his max, 86 overall, he has 97 speed, 95 excel, 79, 76, 77 pursuit. Um, very good card right there. A uh, cheap option as well because his base card is 76, so you can upgrade him really easily. Last player we have on this team is Brandon Williams. He is 87 speed as his base card. We upgrade him to a 97 speed, 80 man coverage, 77 zone coverage player. Now we have some honorable mentions here. A very, very cheap option is Kayvon Seymour. He also has 87 speed. His zone and man aren't that good, but if you upgrade him to 80, you know, he, he is serviceable. 97 speed is huge, man. 93 agility and 94 excel. Next up, we have Marshawn Lattimore, one of the best cards. Um, I, should, I probably should have put him in my team, but I left him out honorable mentions. He has 80 speed the highest speed you can get on a corner as a gold player all right 88 speed um you upgrade him to his max you get 98 speed all right so that is crazy man 98 speed on a corner no one's blowing by that so guys that is gonna be it for this video man if you guys enjoy this video man make sure you guys leave a like make sure you guys subscribe um let me know what other positions you want to see in the comments down below let me know if you guys like these kinds of tips and tricks videos and all that stuff man because ea isn't releasing any packs with coins so i gotta be putting out these videos for you guys to help you guys make your life on Madden Mobile easier, alright? But leave a like, make sure you guys subscribe, and the goof is out. Peace.